Good morning. Welcome, everybody. We are very excited today to have our first Solarize Philly press conference on a sunny day. <laughs> My name is Emily Shapira. I'm the executive director of the Philadelphia Energy Authority. Uh, we're a city government entity that was created by the mayor and city council back in 2010 to support the city on issues of energy affordability and sustainability. In 2016, with the leadership of Council President Clark, we launched the Philadelphia Energy Campaign, which is a billion dollar investment over 10 years in energy efficiency and clean energy projects focused on four sectors in the city, city buildings, schools, uh, affordable housing, and small businesses. Uh, and we're very excited to be well on our way to meeting our goal of creating 10,000 jobs over those 10 years. Solarize Philly is one of the initiatives, thank you, <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, Solarize Philly is one of those initiatives that's part of that, uh, that campaign and we are very excited to be here today to announce that Solarize Philly is reopening for 2019. 2019 is the year to go solar in Philly. Climate change is happening uh, as fast, faster than we thought and 30 per, the 30% federal investment tax credit for solar is only in place through the end of this year. Any Philadelphian can now sign up at solarizephilly.org for free solar assessment of their home or business. And we have a clipboard here for anyone who wants to sign up this morning for their own home. Um, so we have a few speakers here to join us today. So I want to thank everyone for being here. Uh, Mayor Kenny, thank you so much. Council President Clark, uh, Liz Murphy, Senior Vice President for Regulatory and External Affairs at PICO, uh, Councilman Squilla, uh, Greenlee and O, and Commerce Director Harold Epps. Um, we're also joined today by the uh, selected solar installers for this round. Um, and thank you to Christine Knapp, I think you're here somewhere, Sustainability Director for the city. Uh, and with that, I'm going to hand it off to Mayor Kenny. Thanks, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Here in Philadelphia, we know that climate change is real and that we must start to take action now to prevent it from further impacting our communities. In 2017, when that administration announced, I can't even say it, that administration announced their intent to withdraw from the U.S. The US from the Paris Climate Agreement I committed to hold, upholding the agreement's goals here in Philadelphia. To help achieve that commitment, we released Powering Our Future, a clean energy vision for Philadelphia, which charts a path forward to cut citywide carbon emissions by 80% by, by the year 2050. I want to thank Christine Knapp and the Office of Sustainability for their hard work on this plan. While we, we were planning our response to climate change, the issue became even more urgent. Last year, the United Nations reported that unless we dramatically reduce emissions, the worst effects of climate change will become irreversible by the year 2030. This means that we must scale up action today to ensure our children are able to thrive in, into the future. The Philadelphia Energy Campaign has provided a framework for moving forward on our climate goals and has empowered 363 Philadelphians to step up to the task by bringing solar, solar to their homes through Solarize Philly. Solarize Philly is a $6 million investment in our solar industry and has created 52 jobs in just a 12-month period. The program is available to all Philadelphians no matter their income. Everyone can be part of this critical transition to clean energy while reducing the burden of their utility bills through savings from solar energy. Even though last year was the biggest year ever for solar in Philadelphia, we are not on track to meet our climate goals. We need to ramp up from hundreds of installs each year to thousands. With the federal tax credit still at 30% until the end of 2019, this is the year to go solar. So I hope that our city's homeowners and business owners who want to help us reduce our carbon footprint and move towards clean energy, consider, install, consider installing solar panels through Solarize Philly. And I want to thank everybody involved for their hard work, uh, and we really need to get this done for our future and for our kids. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to welcome Council President Clark. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, one more time, it's a great day. Um, you know, folks, you know, this is a very, very interesting endeavor. Um, rarely do you have an opportunity in government where you can touch all facets of the things that we need to do as a city. Um, in this particular case, we're creating educational opportunities as we see young people with learning the industry, learning how through great opportunities, the solar installation, all the other things associated with this. Um, then, obviously, uh, people will have opportunities for great jobs, family-sustaining jobs. Uh, in addition to which, we're dealing with climate change. We're building renewable fuel opportunities because the simple reality is the climate is changing in spite of what certain people say down at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue or 
Florida or wherever he is uh, this particular time, you know, rarely stays home. Um, but the reality is that being a part of this process, um, and I want to thank the mayor and, and the Office of Sustainability, I want to thank the Energy Campaign and Emily, and I want to thank our colleagues, my colleagues who were uh, jumped into this feet first when we really didn't know a whole lot about this and taking the chance and making sure that we push forward on this very significant program. So to the individuals uh, who are in our city, this is again an equitable opportunity to take advantage of a uh, solar industry the time, the clock is ticking, as the mayor said, that we have expiring tax credits, so it's time to aggressively get involved in this program because energy savings can affect everybody in the city. So, again, I want to thank everybody for their awesome work, uh, encourage people to get engaged, get involved, because this is truly the wave of the future. So thank you all very much. Thank you so much, Council President. Uh, I'm happy to have here with us today, I'd like to invite up Liz Murphy, Senior Vice President of Regulatory and External Affairs at PICO. Uh, PICO's been a partner of ours throughout Solarize Philly, um, in particular uh, to help us support our high school solar training, uh, but also creating a new distributed energy group. So I'll, I'll let Liz talk about it a little bit more. Thanks for being here, Liz. Thanks, thanks, Emily. Thanks, Emily. Thank you, everyone. It's, uh, it's truly a, a pleasure to be here today. Um, technology, as we've heard, is, is changing um, along with our customer expectations. Historically, PICO customers um, have, have basic interests. They want quality service and they want affordable pricing. But today's customers have a much higher expectation, such as control and access to energy sources such as solar power. PICO continues to make investments in clean energy. And I'd like to talk about a few of those. The first is our viability map, which is an online map that allows our customers to go online to make an initial determination as to whether they can get solar access. The second is a smart inverter. Um, it's a technology that provides a choice of whether electricity from solar panels should be stored or consumed based on energy consumptions. And we are starting to install a number of those inverters. As Emily mentioned, we also have an internal team of employees that are dedicated to work with the solar developers and customers that are interested in solar. And that team will make the process of solar installation as seamless as possible. And then we're making a number of um, infrastructure investments in energy technology over the next five years. Th those investments will be dedicated to upgrading our, our system to ensure that all that are interested in solar will have the opportunity to get solar. And finally, and probably one of the most important um, issues, and Councilman Clark mentioned that, it's the workforce of the future. And PICO has been working with um, Solarize Philly on the high school training program and also with OIC on really creating um, a training program for the energy jobs of the future. And I do know that we've got a new class of OIC students here, so congratulations and welcome. <laughs> we expect after that training that you'll be applying for positions at PICO, so watch out. Um, we are committed to making sure that the benefits of solar are also shared equity, equ um, equitably. Our position is that everyone, regardless of economic circumstances, should have access to the benefits of solar. So to succeed in all of this, we need our partnerships and our collaboration, and the partnership and the collaboration we've had with Solarize Philly and the Energy Authority will continue. Thank you so much. Um, I want to also recognize we're joined by Councilman Derek Green. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, and I'll mention one of my board members, Barbara Adams, is here as well. Thank you, Barbara, for joining us. Um, I, I'm very grateful to have here two of our Solarize Philly participants um, to share why they went solar through the program. Uh, as Mayor Kenny said, they're among the 363 homeowners who signed solar contracts at a discount through our program since 2017. So Leslie and Victor, please come on up. Greetings, and thank you, Philadelphia and the Philadelphia Energy Authority for creating Solarize Philly. It's really inspiring. You've put solar power within the reach of homeowners like me. I'm a mom, and my son has been my biggest advocate and cheerleader for going solar. Frankly, 
I'm worried about the kind of world that he and future generations will face if we don't get a handle on climate change right now. I own a West Philly home with a flat roof. I first tried to go solar a decade ago, but the installer told me it would not be viable unless I cut down a large tree. It didn't make sense to cut that tree, so I decided to do the next best thing, which was to embark on uh, a, a series of energy improvements to my house, resulting in a 13% decrease in my energy consumption. Fast forward to 2017. I read about Solarize Philly. My financial means aren't quite what they were a few years ago, but I was encouraged by the fact that they were trying to make it affordable to go solar. I applied in 2018 and I was thrilled to learn that I would finally qualify for solar in my house. They surveyed my roof and my electric and said they could install enough solar to serve my house without cutting down the tree. My solar installation went live in February this year. They gave me this little app to track my production. In just two and a half months, I have prevented 1,500 pounds of CO2 from entering the atmosphere. That is the equivalent of planting 37 trees. That's huge. My investment is already paying off. Solarize Philly can help us to do our part to solve the urgent problem of this time. Now is the time to sign up. Do it for your kids. Don't wait. Good morning, everyone. My name is Victor Young. <laughs> Any better? All right. My name is Victor Young. And uh, about three and a half years ago, I was um, interested in solar powering my home so I um, could reduce my carbon footprint and also uh, gain the benefits of um, having reduced energy costs. So I reached out uh, to Solarize Philadelphia and they sent out a great team of uh, guys from KISS and I kudos to you guys. And after having my home rewired, um, they provided, solar energy provided a real economic way for me to have those solar panels installed on my home. So I, I am now getting a zero bill, so it's actually working. And, uh, and, and not only that, uh, I'm thinking about my children, how in the future, when they inherit my property, that they will be relieved of the responsibilities of at least one bill and at the same time help the environment and move forward with life on this planet. Thank you. Awesome. I'd, I'd love to uh, bring to the front uh, Director of Commerce for the City of Philadelphia, Harold Epps. So good morning. I'm like, I'm like Councilman Clark. Good morning. I want to go back uh, to what Vic just said. I'm a businessman, and uh, when you hear somebody say they got a bill of zero, that is to be recognized and applauded, and I think that's the essence of why we're here. Uh, so I want to thank and congratulate all the work that's being done to solarize Philadelphia as we enter phase three. And since we've had so many speakers, I only want to cover two points that probably have not been covered, and I guess the Commerce Director would be expected to cover. Councilman Clark talked about the multifaceted agendas that this covers. I just want to repeat those, at least four of those. We're talking about improvement of the environment. Again, there's some people that don't believe that that's an issue, but uh, I know uh, we in Philadelphia do. Number two, cost reduction. Zero bill, I love that. 
Number three, workforce development. I know OIC and some others that are being uh, groomed to uh, evolve into this uh, significant industry. And number four, job creation. So again, all of that I think warrants congratulations and a round of applause. So just a couple of notes that uh, uh, I had researched, and I think this is key. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, this solar installers as the fastest growing job of the next decade. Let me repeat that. The U.S. Bureau of Statistics, this solar installers as the fastest growing job over the next decade. So for those young men and women, raise your hand that are coming through OIC and the other programs. All right? So when somebody says to you, you have no reason to get out of bed in the morning, tell them, yes, you do. You've got a job for at least the next 10 or 20 years. And so as Commerce Director and also the Office of Workforce Development reports to me, I would ask you to do us a favor. Go tell your sister, your brother, your cousin, your niece, your nephew that this industry has a job for them. We need to go faster. We need more people who are prepared to do the work. And we want to thank you for pursuing this career. So on behalf of the uh, Commerce Department and all of the citizens of Philadelphia, thank you for all you're doing, and congratulations. Let's go Philly. Thank you so much. Uh, next up, we have Councilman Derek Green. Thank you, Emily. This has been a phenomenal, phenomenal um, project. It really shows the incorporation of both the private sector and the public sector really coming together to promote future workforce and promote a future industry. Um, Philadelphia has really taken the lead in this initiative with Solarize Philly. I want to thank the leadership of our council president for creating the Philadelphia Energy Authority and um, also my colleagues in city council, the mayor, the commerce director, and all the parties here who really came together to put together this initiative. Uh, as everyone has said, we're doing phenomenal work here in the city of Philadelphia, but this is also something that we can take on the road. I've had some conversation with the council president and how we can take this concept of how we can solarize our city to other cities around, around the nation. Uh, through my work with the National League of Cities and the Council President's work with the National League of Cities, this can really be a, an example of how we can solarize not just the city of Philadelphia, but solarize the nation. I want to thank all the partners here today for the phenomenal work that you've done, and I can't wait to see uh, Solarize 4. Take care. Wonderful. Next up, Councilman Mark Squilla. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, and uh, I'll be real short, too. Uh, everything has been said, but to thank you to leadership to Council President Clark and the mayor for working together on Solarize Philadelphia. You know, to work with our, our utilities and PICO, thank you so much for making this a win-win situation where not only we're reducing our carbon footprint, but creating jobs, uh, which are, are two of the biggest things we need to do here in the city of Philadelphia. And yesterday being Earth Day, it's really important to realize as city of Philadelphians, what we could do individually to, to make a difference. And I, I like to say, I like to join Leslie and Victor, and today I will be signing up for an assessment. Thank you guys. And uh, it's important for all of us just to do a small part, because sometimes the people say, what can I do? And uh, as elected officials, you know, a lot of people think we could do a lot of different things, but we as a team, a collaborative, a group, can really make a difference one house at a time. And I think this will share the example, as Councilman Green just said, not only for Philadelphia, but for a nation and for a world. So thank you so much for being here. It's an exciting day. Let's continue this move forward, and let's make sure that everybody knows that we here in Philadelphia will continue to reduce our, our carbon footprint before 2080. Thank you. Thank you so much, Councilman. Uh, next, we have Councilman Bill Greenlee. Thank you, Emily. If I was smart, I'd just say I agree with what everybody else said and go walk, walk back. But just emphasize one word that we hear, I think every speaker has said, that's the future. Uh, solar energy is about the future. It's about uh, our environment, helping our, you know, our children and our children's children. So I think it's very important, uh, all credit to Council President Clark for uh, the Energy Authority, and certainly he, when he talked about the environmental issues that got us, but those 10,000 jobs, they sound pretty good too. Yeah, I know we're getting there, we're getting there. So congratulations to everybody, to Pico. I see Ed McBride here, he's waiting for somebody to say his name, because he's standing right there. But, but we, 
<laughs> but we appreciate what everybody has done. And again, this is about the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we're very pleased to welcome Councilman David O. Thank you very much, Emily. And uh, of course, congratulations to Council President Clark, who has really spearheaded this, and, and our mayor, uh, Mayor Jim Kenney. Uh, let me just say that uh, energy is a global concern, and uh, clean, sustainable energy is a global desire. And I am so glad to see Philadelphia stepping forward in this direction, technology, energy, clean, sustainable energy for our environment, for our future, for our economy. Thank you, everybody. And th let's, let's move forward. Thanks, everybody, so much. Um, the next person speaking, uh, you all probably know if you've been involved in Solarize Philly in any way. Um, our, our staff at the Energy Authority is really incredible, and Laura Rigel has led a team uh, that runs Solarize Philly. They include Ben Vila, raise your hand. Thank you for all your hard work. Um, we have a bunch of interns here. Haley, Nicole, thank you guys so much. Maxine Dixon, Alan Abramson, who does all the fill-in, Nancy Mifflin, thank you all so much for all your hard work. Um, so I'd like to welcome Laura Rigel, our solar manager for the Energy Authority. Wonderful. Thanks so much, everyone, for being here with us today. We are so excited to be reopening Solarize Philly for 2019. 2019 is the year to go solar in Philadelphia. And there are three reasons for that. First, this is your last chance to cut the cost of solar by 30% with the federal tax credit that starts stepping down after 2019. Second, the latest UN climate report reminded us that climate change is an emergency. And we need to reduce emissions even faster than we thought. We need to drastically scale up solar adoption here in Philadelphia if we're to be on track to meet Mayor Kenny's climate goals of reducing our emissions by 80% by 2050. And third, we know Solarize Philly creates jobs. Rooftop solar creates the most jobs per dollar invested of any type of energy project. Solarize Philly created 52 jobs over just a 12-month period, and it creates funding to support our job training work with young people in Philadelphia. 2019 is the year to go solar in Philadelphia. Solarize Philly is a citywide program to help all Philadelphians go solar at home. We leverage the group buying power of people like Leslie and Victor and the hundreds of others who have gone solar through our program to drive down the cost of solar and apply consumer protections. We launched Solarize Philly in 2017 and now Philadelphia is the fourth fastest growing solar market in the country. Yeah. 363 households have gone solar through the program, investing, investing $5.8 million in our local economy. Solar installer is now listed as a high priority occupation for Philadelphia because of high employer demand. We know that we will need hundreds more solar installers to transition Philadelphia to a clean energy future. This is why we've partnered with the School District of Philadelphia, the Office of Career and Technical Education, to train Philadelphia's high schoolers for jobs in solar installation. And I know we've recognized these folks, but raise your hands one more time if you're in an adult training program with OIC or ECA. Wonderful. Thank you all. We want to congratulate you on getting into this industry while it's taking off. Roof rooftop solar also creates savings. 2017 was the first year where solar was cost competitive with your PICO bill. And in 2019, we'll drive down the cost even further. For many households, buying solar energy is actually cheaper than buying your electricity from the grid today. We're also here to make sure solar is an option for all communities in Philadelphia. We've developed a low cost financing option for a pilot cohort of low and moderate income households, which are slated for installation this summer. We'll build on this pilot to offer a new inclusive financing option in 2019. So we encourage households of all income levels to sign up for Solarize Philly. I'm pleased to have with us here today the newly selected Solarize Philly 2019 installers who will offer solar at a discount for hundreds more Philadelphians like Leslie and Victor this year. Please join me in congratulating Solar States, <laughs> Kiss Electric, wait, wave, wave, Joe. Yeah, yeah, good. 
Arsenal Solar and Vivint Solar. Thanks all for being with us. So Solar States and Kiss Electric were with us for the first two phases and worked incredibly hard to serve the hundreds of households and the huge surge in demand we saw through Solarize Philly. Arsenal Solar is a Philadelphia-based company looking to grow their solar business. And Vivint Solar is a leading national solar installer who will be coming on board with us this phase. We're looking forward to working with all four of your companies to make 2019 the biggest year ever for solar in Philadelphia. So in closing, 2019 is the year to go solar in Philadelphia. We are faced with huge challenges from climate change to generational poverty. And solar is a tool that addresses both at once, reducing your carbon footprint and your electric bill while creating local jobs. We'll make it easy by connecting you to one of our pre-approved installers who will offer below market pricing. And remember that this is the last year to save 30% on the cost of solar with the federal tax credit. So whether you've been thinking about going solar for a decade or are just learning about it today, 2019 is the year to go solar. Anyone can sign up now at solarizephilly.org. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Laura. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Students, I would love to have you come up and introduce yourself to the city's leadership uh, and stay for some cake. We'll, we'll cut the cake to celebrate Solarize Philly today. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.